Hey, in the last video, I showed you how to use custom fonts and HTML in your text view. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use links. We're going to start with this layout. Let me drag another text view. I'm going to place it right below the caption text view and uh, center it horizontally. We have this text and it says uh, medium text. Let's give this an ID. Let's go change the ID property and let's call this website. Click OK. And we need a URL for a website here, which we are going to add in our strings.xml. We are going to create a new string resource. Go to strings.xml and string website. We are going to call this resource website www.codeherenow.com. So this is the URL that we will be using. Let's go back to our font.xml, custom font.xml. And here at the text property, let's go ahead and change this to string slash website. Okay. There is a property that allows you to create links inside your text view. It is called as the auto link property. You can scroll down the property sheet and below you can find the property called as auto link. Let's go ahead and change this. Click on the ellipsis button. And here you can see a list of flags that links different uh, things such as web URLs, email IDs, your phone numbers on the location on your map. Let's go ahead and select web because we have chosen a web URL and click OK. You can see that the color has changed indicating that uh, the text view now has a link. Save this by clicking on the save button. And let's run this application on our emulator. Switching to the emulator. There it is. So you can see that uh, we have our URL and it is already linked. Let's go ahead and click on this URL and see what happens. So clicking on the URL opens your default browser and points to the particular URL. Let's go back to the application. So that is how you do it. You can see a variety of options. You can have links for email, phone and even a map location a coordinate. So if you click on a link that is an email ID, the default email application will open up allowing you to send an email to that particular ID. And you can also add a phone number which when clicked will take you to the dialer application with the phone already dialed in. And if you have a map location or geolocation with the latitude and longitude, your Google Maps application will open up if installed on your device and then will point to that particular location. You can also do this via code. Uh, I've, showed, I've shown you how to do this through XML and next I'm going to show you how to do the same using code. So let's go ahead to the auto link property and we'll remove this. We're going to remove this and click OK so that it turns back to normal. Now we're going to write some code to add a link to this text. Let's go back to custom font activity Java, and we're going to create another reference variable called as web website. Let's go ahead and get a reference to it. Find view by id r.id.website. Let's add a cast to this. It's done and let's say website dot set auto link mask and in the mask use linkify dot web urls next go ahead and say website dot set text or dot string dot website this call is very essential. Uh, I know that we have already used our XML property, that is the XML text property, to set the website from our XML, but that is not sufficient when you're doing it from the code. When you're doing it from the code, after you call set auto link mask method, you have to set the text, or else you cannot see any changes in your application. 
So now we are done. Let's go ahead and run this application. I'm going to run this program. Click run. Let's switch to the emulator. And there you go. Our URL is linked. That is it. And it's very simple. So in this video, I showed you how to create links inside your text view using the autolink property. First, we did it using the XML property. And second, we did it from our Java code. Thank you.